Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to use Dimitri, or the Deep Magic Information Gathering Tool. Now before I begin this video, I have to let you know that this is the last video in the form of a request that was made last year, so this was the last video requested last year, and uh, given that that is, I'm uh, very, very happy that I was able to complete the list, and we can start getting uh, on with this year's list of video recommendations, and continue with the series that we have ongoing. So I'm extremely happy, and for those of you wondering why I've been making these uh, tutorial videos, or those were, uh, were essentially uh, re uh, request videos that I got from, from last year, and so I was trying to clear that up, so that I our schedule uh, was free flowing and that we can actually move on. So uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use Dimitri, which is an information gathering tool that essentially combines all the important aspects of information gathering in one package. Now, the important thing to understand about information gathering is there are two as uh, there are two ways of looking at it, and there are indeed two ways of approaching or getting information from a target. You have active and passive information gathering. Uh, Dimitri. Uh, by default will be on the passive uh, aspect of information gathering. So it uh, essentially allows you to perform who is lookups on IPs and domains. It allows you to perform a subdomain search on your target. However, this is going to be based on not actually actively uh, targeting or um, actively interacting with your target, but uh, getting information from the public. So publicly available information, sort of like what you'd have with open source intelligence or OSINT, as it's also uh, referred to as. So it allows you to perform subdomain searches. Um, uh, you have email searches, similar to what the Harvester tool does, which essentially allows you to gather emails uh, from the internet, uh, from various search engines, uh, or various websites uh, given to a particular uh, organization. Uh, so it also allows you to perform TCP port scanning, but of course, no one's going to use Dimitri for that. That's why we have Nmap, and you sort of want to have that uh, di that uh, distinction with the tools that you use, especially if it is a professional penetration test. Uh, all right, so I'm going to be essentially covering all the important bits that you need to know and how to fully utilize this tool for information gathering, even if it is passive information gathering. So let's get started. So Dimitri comes pre-installed with all penetration testing distributions and uh, by default you can simply open up the help menu as with all the other scripts and there we are. So you have your deep magic information gathering tool. There be some deep magic going on. Yeah, so very nice slogan there or very nice subtitle. Uh, does not give an insight into what the tool can do but that's why we have the help menu here that uh, sort of gives us an idea of all the options that we can use. So you can go ahead and check that out for yourself. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be showing you the most important bits right over here. All right, so uh, let's get started with performing a who is lookup on a particular IP address. All right, so it could be any IP address. It could belong to a server. Wherever you got it from, this is the tool to use if you want to perform a who is lookup uh, on your uh, on that particular IP address. So we simply type in Dimitri, and the parameter or the option we we are going to specify is the I command, which uh, also stands for IP, and then we type in the IP address. And uh, that IP address, in my case, I'll just use the 0.1, which is a very common internet, uh, an IP block that is used all around the world in uh, various networking devices like routers uh, and embedded devices. So we can, uh, if we just open it up, you can see right over here, it will tell us what we already know. This is an IP block because this IP is not really publicly given uh, to, a, well, it is, but again, you it is in reference to particular IP addresses, but I essentially specified the entire IP block right over here. So there we are, there we are, we have the INET who is information. You can see that uh, the net name is right over here, the non-ripe NCC managed address block. Um, and there we are, you can go and look at the countries that it does operate in, or it is available in. So you have Africa, Asia Pacific, uh, North America, Latin America, and the Caribbean, which is uh, pretty standard. So it is a very widely used uh, IP block. Just a little caveat there in case you're wondering. All right, now performing a who is lookup on a domain is again very, very simple. So we can just get set here. So Dimitri uh, and the option we're using is W for your domain. And then we can type in a domain like zone transfer.me. That is a simple uh, domain and it sort of gives you the information, but uh, information with a bit of uh, a bit of a record or notice here, which you can uh, pretty much use. But again, uh, the output is seems to have been uh, to have been jetted or uh, sort of it, it sort of is in a different format. 
or the encoding is uh, is set incorrectly with the script but in any case it gives you the important bit of information right over here so for example you have the domain name uh, the registry domain ID which is quite important the registrar URL where this uh, this uh, this domain was registered on uh, originally so you have the updated date when this domain was last updated in regards to its um, to its ownership you then have the creation date the registry expiry date which is on December 2019 which is quite cool uh, and then uh, you then have the other information like the registrar abuse contact email uh, pretty much all the who is information you could ever want and it does give you the registrant company here the state uh, the state or province and uh, the registrant organization and you also get a bit of uh, other information and given on whether or not the domain does have uh, who is protection it'll either give you the information uh, or for the registrant and the the individual that registered the domain or um, if you do have uh, domain protection or who is protection for your domain it'll essentially get uh, it'll essentially block all that information from being accessed so if you do perform a who is uh, you'll essentially get uh, all nil results there all right, so that is how to perform who is a who is lookup on a domain. You then have your TCP port scanning. I won't be covering the subdomain enumeration because again, that uses publicly available information. So you're not going to get anything that possibly might be accurate. So we'll focus uh, with the uh, uh, these scans that will, will give you a real and uh, information that you can trust or information that is reliable and up to date. All right, so you have TCP port scanning, which is very, very simple. So again, you can type in Dimitri. Uh, P for the uh, the specifying that is a port scan. So again, scan my 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 route address here, and I uh, will just wait for this to enumerate the information. So there we are. We can see that uh, the host name is uh, Gateway, as we already know, and we have the port and the state. So very very simple. It essentially performs a very quick scan. Uh, it scans for the 150 most popular ports. 147 ports were in a state uh, in a closed state. All right. So the scan completes, and uh, there you are. All right, so now uh, that we know how to perform a simple TCP port scan, now let's take a look at how to look up server uptime with Netcraft. As I said, this is all in regards to publicly available information. So to do that, we type in Dimitri and we use the N command because it is going to use Netcraft. So again, we can use the zone transfer.me. Zone transfer.me. And there we are. It's going to retrieve the Netcraft information for zone transfer.me. And for some reason, it did not give us anything. It does give you the host IP though. So let us try another website here. Again, this is uh, sort of the issue with um, with passive information gathering. And again, we don't get any information, which is uh, pretty relevant because uh, it's not. It's really we we have not signed up uh, for statistics on Netcraft as well. All right. So finally, we have the email search again, which is uh, Dimitri, and we use the E parameter or the E, e option here and we specify the domain or our target domain. So we can say zone transfer, uh, sorry, zone transfer dot me. And uh, well, let's see if we can it'll obviously use the Google search engine for any information regards uh, regarding to this, uh, this particular domain. So we can say, for example, we can switch this up to bbc.com. Let's see if we're able to gather any publicly available email addresses uh, that are linked to the bbc.com domain and for this i would recommend using the harvester uh, because you can see you'll not get anything right over here so uh, for email harvesting use the uh, the use the harvester for that all right and uh, finally uh, outputting your results which is again very very simple so we can say for example dimitri uh, i and i can essentially say 192.168.1.1 and I can output this using the O command and I can print out the the, uh, the file I want it to be saved in results.txt right over here and hit enter and it's going to give me all the who is information stored in the results.txt file so it's on my desktop here and there we are fantastic so it does save it as a txt file so you can uh, you can sort of exclude uh, the txt file extension right over here so results.txt.txt so i'll get rid of that and again we can move on so the real charm of dimitri and the real power comes in the form of combining various parameters that we've already seen how to use to get comprehensive information and data about your target in one shot remember instead of performing each of these individual scans you can combine these parameters to give you a comprehensive scan of what you're looking for all in regards to uh, uh, passive information gathering so for example the command i would run is if I'm targeting a domain, I would run uh, Dimitri WN. So WN is a who is lookup 
on a particular domain. N is for the uh, server uptime with Netcraft, if available. Uh, so I can essentially say WN or I can say WSN, which is, uh, again, we will also look for subdomains, but I'll use WN uh, and uh, WN and then we specify the, the port scan if we do want it. So WNP uh, and then I can specify uh, PPE for uh, the email search, which again is not going to give us much information that we already don't know. But again, this is all passive information. So I'll output this into results.txt again and hit enter. And uh, let's see what information we're able to get. So again, just the basic information. Uh, whoops, I actually forgot to specify the actual domain. Apologies for that, guys. And we will output it to results, but we already have results on the desktop here. Uh, yes, results.txt.txt. I better make sure to correct that. So again, we're using hsploit com and we will save that as results and hit enter and it's going to start getting information in regards to that target that particular target so again we'll wait for all of this to complete and uh, this will essentially just combine all of these scans that we've been doing and automate it into one into one sort of scan in one shot so uh, for those of you looking for the comprehensive guide to using this tool for sort of getting all all types of uh, passive information on your target this is a great way of doing it all right, so I'll wait for the scan to complete and I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, so the scan is complete and I've just opened up the file and as you can see right over here, these are the results. It does, gives us, it does give us the IP address and nothing more, which is uh, quite saddening because uh, Dimitri was once a very, very good tool, but there you are. For those of you who wanted to know about Dimitri and uh, and, and, and sort of all, all the, um, and how to use it uh, to its maximum or uh, to its full potential there you are and i want to say thank you for all the video suggestions that you guys provided uh, to me for 2018 i really appreciate it and uh, we've completed them and uh, now we can move on uh, and start working on other videos uh, and other video series so thank you so much for watching this video if you did like the video please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on the forum at hackersploit.org and i'll be seeing you in the next video peace guys